everyone. Thank you for joining me on today's edition of Glenn's Retro Show. I received another item from Super Impulse, but this time it's not from their tiny arcade line. It's instead from their micro arcade line, and they sent me a micro arcade Pac-Man to review. Let's have a look at this little guy. Okay, so once again, uh, Super Impulse has a nice box design that lets you very easily see the item inside. It's a nice plastic box here, but again, it's a very nice artwork on it. You can see the ghosts or monsters, however you want to remember them. Originally were monsters, but they did become eventually ghosts uh, from Pac-Man. Uh, again, a very nice design here. I like the color of the machine, the blue, uh, and it's kind of like translucent, so you can kind of see the parts inside. It's kind of interesting that they're doing that. Uh, there are two buttons on there, and a, uh, it's not really a directional pad. It looks like directional buttons. So it looks like they're all separate uh, items on there. But you can see it's a very, very thin unit. And on the back here, we have some information. I do say a directional pad, but we'll have to try it. It looks like individual buttons. I hope it's not, because I always hate it when they're individual buttons. Uh, looks like this might be a rechargeable device, because it has a micro charger cable included. Our on-off switch, a full color LCD, the master on-off switch, start and function buttons, and a micro USB port. So once again, uh, the box itself will definitely catch your attention, seeing this, you know, hanging up at your local Walmart. And I have seen in there, I don't recall how much they were selling them for though, I do know they were more than the 12.95 um, tiny arcades. I want to say there was something like around 17 to 20 dollars for these little guys. But in any case, let's take this out of the box and take a look at the game itself. Okay, so let's get this guy out of the box here. Okay, we have a little manual. Let's take a quick look at that. Micro Arcade, the smallest fully functional pocket-sized arcade game. Well, I think maybe, I don't know if the tiny arcades are smaller, but in any case, this is definitely, definitely small. So let's open up to the first page here, make sure I got the first page. And I do. So it's basically the same thing. It's on-off switch, it has button controls. I'm not quite sure what the buttons are going to be used for. Um, you could turn the game sounds on and off by moving the on-off switch located to the left position. So I the on-off switch also could control your volume. Uh, we have a little charging LED it says here. I have no idea if this thing is charged off the get-go, but I guess we'll find out when I try and turn it on. And it looks like it's just some basic information uh, on this other page here. Nothing really important about the game. But uh, they still don't really tell what the buttons themselves are used for. It says control buttons, but not what they're used for. And I really don't think they're going to be used for anything other than maybe it's just starting the game, pressing them to start it. So I guess we're going to find out. Not too much information here in the, in the manual, just, just enough to get by. And let's see here, we have, oh, it looks like a little piece of cardboard we slide off the back here. Here we go. And here is our little micro charging cable. And it's a flat cable, which is kind of nice. It's not too, too long, but it should be, I guess, acceptable to get a charge. If not, I'm sure you have a ton of cell phone charging cables. And they have, once again, their nice little catalog. And they have some really cool little things in here. I might want to pick up this little Polaroid camera. Uh, I highly doubt it works, but it'd be fun if it did. Um, and what else do we have here? Of course, the, the tiny arcades. You know, they have them lit up over here. Some small Atari joysticks. These uh, tops are actually pretty fun. I've had these even when I was a kid back in the early 70s. Uh, they kind of like act like gyroscopes. They're kind of really neat. And, of course, for the ladies, they got some Barbies and things like that. A small Rubik's Cubes. They definitely have some really cool things here from uh, Super Impulse and their and their tiny line. Even a light bright, small magic eight ball, Lincoln logs, even small metal. I mean, they really do make some kind of neat things here. And I, to be honest, I've never been disappointed with anything I've gotten from them, uh, which is kind of good, um, at least for me, because I enjoy their stuff. Okay, now how do we get the actual game out of here? Looks like there's uh, oh another piece of plastic. And then we can finally take out, oh look, the decals on the front. I would have put it there anyway, so that's kind of nice. And this is the unit here. And you know what it feels? Oh, I like the back. Look at that. Pac-Man Micro Arcade. And uh, it looks like I could definitely hack it. Very easy to get inside just with four screws. But uh, man, this looks really, really nice. It's got a decent enough weight. I mean, it feels like a couple of credit cards. It's not very heavy. Um, and yes, this is not a directional pad. These are four independent buttons. 
which for a Pac-Man game, I guess that'll be okay, but it's not a true D-pad. Um, but the tactile on them feels very nice. We can see there's the micro USB jack. You can see the electronics in here, which is kind of neat. I do like that look. Uh, the gold Pac-Man micro cave there on the PCB. And here is our on off and it's showing our volume on and volume off over here. Actually, there's two separate buttons. There's one, this is a separate volume control. So volume and off, and this is the actual on off button on this side. So it's not part of the power button. And uh, you know, it it's, feels okay in the hand. I mean, it's small. Um, I will say that this type of design, your finger won't be in the way of the gameplay as it would be in the, you know, in the tiny arcade sometimes because your hands are actually out of the way. Um, but it feels kind of nice. I'm going to see if I can turn this on. I don't know if there's any power in it, but let's find out. The volume is set to on right now. So let's hit the on button here, which is going to be over that way. Oh, we do have some power. And I will say the screen looks kind of good there. And it's telling us to press a button to start here, so... I'm going to have to place to the viewfinder once again. Looks like you're using a, like a piezo type of sound because it's so, this is so thin. So the sound doesn't sound spectacular uh, compared to the other micro arcade line where the sound effects are usually really, really spot on. However, I will say it looks like that the frame rate of the game here looks a lot better than you would see on the tiny arcade. So it looks like it's going to be a trade-off sounds for frame rate and again I'm going to say that's really mostly because of the thinness of this the type of speaker they need to use it's like the old Coleco you know mini cades where it's really just a vibrating piece of metal making your sounds So once again, it is Pac-Man, and it's, and it's kind of fun. It's just really hard for me to, to play this with the viewfinder. Oh, cherry. Got to get the cherry. Get the cherry. So this, the, the visuals are definitely more of our era, but the sound is right from the 80s. From like the old Coleco uh, handhelds, the old uh, VFD handhelds. It doesn't really detract from the game. I mean, you know what, what the sounds are. But if you're expecting digital sound effects, it looks like you're not going to get it in this line. But again, that's really more along the lines of the technology needed to make the sound that's something so thin. But the frame rate is very, very good. And everything's very easy to, to see and make out. Oop, get over. Oh, I missed some at the bottom. Oh, oh, almost got me, but you didn't get me, did you? So the controls are working very, very well, which a lot of times these button pads don't, but in a Pac-Man type of game, they're working just fine. I just want to see if they have any intermissions in here. Um, they're going to try and kill me. Ooh. All right, let's see if we have it. Oh, we do.
<laughs> Alright, let me give you my final thoughts of the Micro Arcade from Super Impulse. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Micro Arcade from Super Impulse. It's, it's kind of neat. Um, the only thing that was a little iffy for me was the sound, but you see how thin this is? The type of speaker they need to use there is what's called a Pezzo, if I'm pronouncing that right. It's just a thin metal vibrating uh, speaker and you're not going to get high fidelity sound out of it. But aside from that, the screen is very, very sharp. The controls work great. It's rechargeable. No batteries are needed. Um, it's very easy to hold. It looks neat. I mean, just look at that. It's just a fun little, fun little unit. And um, they are kind of nice. If you're expecting, you know, there's arcade sound effects, you're not going to get it here. You'll get a, a close proximity of all the sounds that are there. But they were there, eating the dots, uh, when the ghosts or monsters, uh, when the power pellet was eaten, you know, they heard that sound effect. Uh, eating your cherry had the sound effect, and they had the music during the intermission. So it's all there. And um, I know you can get these at Walmart, and of course uh, on eBay you can get these little guys. And uh, they're kind of neat. Um, it's going right in line with their, with their tiny arcade line, but yet not. It's more of a design choice, and it's just really neat to look at. Uh, I like it. So, would I pick one up? I, I would. And they have a few of those. They have a Miss Pac-Man I've seen, uh, and a Tetris. And I'm probably going to go out and pick those little guys up. So, once again, very nice job, Super Impulse. It's a fun little guy, which I'm going to play a little bit more right now. So remember, if you did like the video, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when more videos are uploaded. And have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching. And remember, game on.